dress up. I had to get comfortable and get out of that and get something more nice and just comfy and relaxing and free. If you will, take that do-rag off, put some lotion on his face. I got a little visitor right here. Meanwhile, I don't know where this is coming from because she was with me during my vacation. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to talk about it. But here we are. As you guys can see, we have us a series. Y'all, a lot of us are in our 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. Some of us are 30 and up, 35. I looked at my analytics, and a lot of us, you know, we, we are in the, within the same age group. You know, so I was like, you know what, Kelly? Let's start this. Let's do this age and grace for you guys know that is my brand so i was like let's just start a nice cute series asian graceful diaries of just us living our best life doing normal everyday stuff that we do because we're kind of realistic not kind of we are realistic over here so this is the new series we're just gonna be showing how we gonna as late the younger folks say glow up do all the it woman stuff we're just gonna have fun we're gonna pour it all in and we're just gonna do it within our age group so yeah so i'm excited i'm happy um i already had if you may not have seen already i did share that i um i have shared that i'm having a hysterectomy and i am thoroughly excited y'all i'm thoroughly excited i'm just tired of um the pain the bleeding and all the stuff that goes along with fibroids and then this lovely lady you know what really made me really really want to share i've watched her you know you know in the past and things like that uh jessica i think her name was petway or something like that um she passed away from cervical cancer misdiagnosed and between her you know her story you know because again it's all speculations where everybody doesn't really know all the ins and out but and me going to my um i had an ultrasound on friday and me sitting there in the waiting room on tiktok instagram and just listening to everything and then i'm like kelly go ahead just just this share this share so i'm gonna share my journey of having my hysterectomy and everything like that and i did my first video for those of you probably seeing already um, we're going to do another video on my pre-op, so that'll be that. And then we're going to have surgery day, we're going to have recovery, and then, you know, we'll see how it goes. I see a lot of women did like one year updates and six months and three months and so on, so on and so on my eyes itching, y'all. But, um, yeah, we're going to do all the things. I'm excited. I just, I, I just remember when I had my ablation done, my first one. And my doctor was like, no, I'm not giving you a hysterectomy. And I really wanted one. And I put that video out. And so many women, so many of you, so many women that just found the video just because, um, was just saying that that's the best thing that they could have ever did, ever did, was get a hysterectomy. You know, especially when you get to childbearing years, even if you don't have a child you know if you do have children and you just start your body's menstruating and do all the things you know you can um the fibroids can come and different things can just come you know so i have to get a biopsy but i'll be sharing i think i shared it in my video but i have to get a biopsy on my pre-op to make sure i don't have any um cancer cells or any cancer if you will in my cervix but i already said i wanted to get my cervix removed because that would help me eliminate any women problems down there you know all the things you know because we have enough with going to work dealing with you know work life dealing with home life dealing with the world dealing with our bills you know i don't need to deal with anything going on down there you know, that's another headache in itself. So, yeah, I'm excited. So, I hope you follow me on that journey. So, if you are new to my channel and you um, just happen to click on, hey, what's up? My name is Kelly. Um, join me. I'll be doing those videos. Those videos will not be, like, consistent because it'll be when I have an appointment and when the events actually happen. But I'm definitely going to keep you guys 
up to date. And I also, I'm sitting back saying, am I putting too much on my plate because I'm thinking about recovery? Will I even be able to edit? You know, all these different things. But, you know, I already put in my FMLA papers. Oh, my God. And I just have to wait for my my surgeon to, to um, or physician, whatever, the procedure, to fill out my their part to send it back. And then it's all good. It's all good. I'm excited. But let's um, go downstairs. I need to get some stuff in order. <laughs> Before we go down, I need to take another towel on. I, I can't swallow pills. If I ever told you guys that, I cannot swallow pills. So I have to chew my pills. I used to have a pill crusher. Don't know where my pill crusher is. So... I have to chew them. So I have these Tylenols right here. This is like the Motrin Tylenol, Motrin with Tylenol. And um, I'd rather just get plain Tylenol or plain Motrin. I feel like this combo here, um, it's okay, but I really feel like when I just take the, like the Tylenol or the Motrin, I don't know. I, don't, I guess because the milligrams is only like 250. I don't know. I mean, but it, they are good. I do use them. They're here. I do have the plain Motrin. You know, just to not tell them, but I don't know. I just started with these. So we'll see. But, um, yeah, y'all. Um, okay. So after having my hysterectomy and everything kind of heals up and everything, my birthday should be rolling around the corner. So I think for my birthday trip, I'm going to do something really cute and short, like um, maybe a three-day, two-night type situation and go somewhere. Y'all, I'm excited. I have to pay for it. So I have to pay for it. <sighs> I'm talking to y'all because I want to take these pills. I'm sitting here doing like this, rolling them around because <laughs> I don't want to take them. Oh, God, I hate taking pills. Let's do it, y'all. Let's do it. We got it down. Ugh. The laundry that I got up here is insane. So, <laughs> doing all my business. This is where I work my good old nine to five job. She's a mess. Um, and I've used this whole entire sofa to, like, organize my clothes. Like, all the laundry that I had before I even left to the laundry that I incorporated. So, that's my last load. I took my last um, load out and I put it in the dryer. So, I just need to fold everything, put everything up. I want to clean this loft. I want to vacuum. I want to clean my workstation. I want to get it all done because she's... Some of you probably know, I don't like cleaning on Sunday. I don't like doing anything. So today's Saturday. I want to get it done. And plus, I want to go to a brunch tomorrow. I want to, like, just go somewhere. I want to do something. I don't know if, I don't know if we're really going to do it, but I know I want to because I will leave people behind to go. So, um, yeah, let me get to folding and, yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about this room. This room is a pure mess, y'all. I have two videos to do tomorrow. I'm not doing anything today. I have two videos to do tomorrow. I'll be showing that to you guys. Once they get approved, it's some glasses um, and some little spring outfits. I gotta show that to you guys. But my floor is full of, you probably see the boxes. This is stuff that was sent to me from PR when I was gone. Ah, mm, thank you. Let me show you what I got. Um, you know me and Morad have a relationship, right? So they sent me this. They always send me something. This is their new um, retinol rescope eye treatment. This is really, really nice. I already talked good about this stuff. I love this stuff. And they sent me some matcha. So we're going to, you know, see how that works. You know, they, the packaging is always superb with um, Morad. We already know how they get down. 
the good folks over at Gagne, they sent me some um, moisturizing like shampoo. It's their hair filler, hyaluronic, no it's not hyaluronic, um, moisturize repair um, line. And it came with a nice little hair thing. I do have short hair as you guys can see, but you still have to wash your hair and keep your hair nice and hydrated no matter what. And last but not least, Hard Candy sent me all these glosses. My daughter is like, my I already know ones that I want. So I gave her some. I'm going to give her some glosses and I'm going to keep some glosses. And, and they also sent me the Girl Scout edition of their Hard Candy line. This is like, um, they got a highlighter, a lip color, and another highlighter. And some false nails. And a lip gloss. I didn't even see this. A lip gloss. A lip oil. And it came with a headband for like when you're like doing like skincare and whatnot. So super cute. Thank you, Heart Candy. <laughs> I recently bought a new book. I was so surprised that BJ's had this book. This book just came out. Um, I bought this book because this is by a black author. And there's a book before this book. So this is like a little series, I guess, going on. I need to find it. I'm hoping that BJ's will have it again. I like getting books from BJ's and Target. I love me some good Barnes & Noble. I love a good Barnes & Noble run. When my pockets is feeling like, yeah, we got it. But, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing like getting a book with some dollars off. So, I did pick this book up. I did not take it on vacation. Let me tell you something. I'm so happy I didn't take, I didn't take um, my laptop, my iPad. All I took was my phone. I didn't take no books or anything like that. Nothing. I was going to try to get this book off of Libby. For those of you who are book readers, you know, um, you can use your public library and you can read books for free. You can do audio. You can read them for free. I, I think you can borrow them for like two weeks. The same way how you would do it when you go into the location. You do it, you know, over the thing. So, um, they don't have this author in the library. So, yeah. We got to wait. So, because I do want to read the book in its order. Yeah, I do. I do want to do that. And then you guys know, I got the Twisted Game book and I want to get the other ones. I think you probably can't even see due to the, let me back up. You see it now? So I do want to get that series just to put on my bookshelf. I do want to read it. I hear it's like real smutty. And I don't know if I'm into that. I don't know, but we'll see. But I'm, my first love when it comes to books is more like productivity, self-help, self-development. All that type of stuff. My attention span is short when it comes to like um, books like this. Because I'm like, girl, guy, what are you doing? You know, one of those. But I do have to get into a book. I, I do need to. Y'all, I cannot even wear this stuff, these two, until my tan goes away. I cannot. I cannot. You guys see it. <laughs> I can't. I can't wear anything until my tan goes away. So me showing you that is irrelevant right now, but it's okay. It's okay. I got so many compliments on my fragrances that I wore in Cancun. I did wear the um the Kaylee the yummy pistachio, yum pistachio, and I also wore the My Way Nectar. Yo, yo. But they really. People really gave me compliments when I wore the Young Pistachio. And even like I wore that last night. I went out to um, dinner last night. And the waitress, when we were leaving, she was like, don't, please don't take this the wrong way. And she was like, you just smell so good. She was like, it compliments you so well. And it was so funny. I was like, well, thank you. It's so funny. I was like, I talked crap about this fragrance. Full blown crap, but you know it grew on me. Again, it has to be the intense. It has to be the intense. The regular one is 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 not strong enough. I like strong. I want to be. I want to be able to smell it. I want to be able to smell it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna sit back and open up these boxes. I have to do a video on some glasses because you guys know I love me some good readers. And if you did not know. I love a pair of good readers. So I got some glasses here and I got these clothes I need to just take out. Possibly have to steam. So I'm going to do that. And then 
I'm gonna start editing. I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the day and. I got back in the bed. I'm sitting here now. I am editing. I need to edit and get some stuff out because I'm being a bad content creator. I put my do rag back on. I'm back in the bed. I got laundry going. I folded my clothes. I'm going to fold the rest of the ones when I get them, excuse me, from downstairs. But today's going to be a chill day, okay? It's gonna be a chill day. I don't know um, if I'm gonna do something later. I might call my cousin and say she wanna um, go get something to eat. I just know I can't have a cocktail because my um, surgeon told me do not drink, you know, try not to drink before you have your surgery. So I'm not gonna drink. I'm just going to, I don't even want a mocktail. I only want a mocktail. I just want water. It's amazing how I've been drinking water since I've been back. Because one, I'm detoxing from all the alcohol I was drinking. All the food I was eating. Not drinking like either soda or juice or like a ginger ale. Anything, you know, carbonated or super sweets. You could just tell a difference on how your body just functions. It's like. Not saying you can't have those things, but your body just acts different. Sorry about the light exposure. The sun is going in and out. But, um, yeah. Have I ever gave you guys an update on my laptop? I think I did. No, I didn't. So, let me tell you. You guys know I got me a new laptop. Love it. I had the 14 inch. I went back. I took it back. Because I felt it was just so small. Meanwhile, I had a 13 inch. But something about having from a MacBook Air, the old old one, to a MacBook Pro, it just felt like it was, it felt like it was just so small. So what I did, I went and got the 16 inch, y'all. The speakers on this baby. Look at these speakers, y'all. It is big, but I like it. The people that I watched on YouTube talking about... Um, this laptop, they were like, oh, it's too bulky, it's too big, you can't really be on a plane with it, this, that, and the third. Me, personally, if I would took it on a plane, I would be fine. I would be fine. Um, that was like one of my, like, one of my fears, but let me tell you something. I love this thing. This is probably one of the best investments that I've made. And I wasn't about buying this laptop, but let me tell you something. I already done put in my cart like a um, a laptop sleeve. We just slide the laptop in it because this thing, I love it. Worth every penny. Every penny. Oh my God. Every penny. But yeah. I'm just going to chill y'all. I don't got nothing going on. I guess some moments when you're, you know, when you up in age, is like you get kind of like a little, I don't want to say boring. You just kind of like, you know, know what you want to do. Oh, this exposure. I'm so sorry, y'all. The sun is sunning. Let's see what I can do. Okay. That looks better. I look ashy, but that looks better. But, um, yeah. I just miss talking to you guys. I feel like I'm just like not in my vlogging zone. I'm gonna get there though. I'm gonna get there because we got some stuff. We got some stuff. <laughs> What's up y'all? What's going on? I just came back from having my 
pre-op appointment and all the things for my surgery if you're not following me make sure you're following me so you can see the journey that i'm going on those are separate videos they're their own playlist all the things i know we kind of left off at um i don't even know where we left off at me just trying to get myself together so today i'm going to take this bright polish off my toes and my nails get something neutral um in the event my surgery is in a matter of days and any event that um i'm not feeling up to it to get my nails done i'm gonna just probably get something super neutral so any you know any event when it grows out it doesn't look too bad but um yeah these gotta come off y'all see my burn y'all see this from that dawn hookah can y'all see yeah y'all see it y'all can see the vent things and everything how that thing burnt me but yeah it's healing it's scabbing and i got one right here a mess and that one still is showing like white meat lord have mercy i need the color to come back <laughs> but um let's get these nails done uh i got my hair cut i'm trying to think what else i gotta do to get myself together i did my laundry Y'all, I had to wear a mask in the office. It was like mandatory. I haven't wore a mask in so long. But I guess it's probably the best thing since, you know, going through all of this. But, um, yeah. Let's get these nails done and keep it pushing. It's like a little maintenance moment, I guess. Let's go. Nails done, got them cut down. I didn't even get no polish. I just used my natural wrap and just went with that. I got like a beigey nude on my um, toes. Super neutral. We back to work now. We back to work. <laughs> but y'all, we're going to end this here because your girl is tired. I'm mentally drained. I'm doing two vlogs in one and it's time for me to decompress and then we will start this up again <laughs> <music>